Okay, 3S in today. We have a bin. It's full of Kanban cards, old ones and everything. This is kind of where we moved. Everything got thrown in here. So we're going to go through. We're going to 3S this uh, and get those all cleaned out, thrown out, put in the right place. Uh, and we're, we're restocking them into our bins here so that we don't lose them. Phil's done a good job with the move, getting everything dialed back in here in our inventory. And what we're working on right now is even, they got a lot of stuff that's, we're trying to get a label on everything. And so yesterday he went ahead and everything that we've got from Fast Cap that we buy from them, we've at least, we've at least got a label on it. So it's, it's nowhere to put stuff where to have it so nice job Phil. so we have our temporary setup for our pumps outside we just got this uh, security door on the back door we cut it out to run this stuff through the issue is we don't want people to be able to see in the shop at night and so we were just putting a piece of cardboard up here it was old and crappy and a pain to deal with so daniel uh we put in cabinet vision we cut out a piece of quarter inch it out for the stuff and it just slides into place up against the door so you can't see in the shop at night and then we cleared out this area right here behind it and so instead of having to go and put it somewhere else it just slides in behind that cap carts are an issue in this area and one of the things we've got we've got this sort cart that's on uh, where we put our shelves when they come off and before we bundle them and you kind of see we're kind of far and when you're here working at the edge bander on the end that you've got to walk and so you can kind of you kind of get lost so one of the things we talked about today is making a modification where we're going to weld on some brackets that are going to come up and out and then we'll move this this sort tray on top of that so as it comes out you get your long things will come out and you'll be able to sort right there and not have to leave this area right here. Okay guys, feedback from yesterday's installs. Uh, job that Brandy had, but I'm sharing this with everybody. So first off, measurements on one of the rooms was off by a quarter to a half an inch. Remember on a closet, it's better for us to be too small by a half an inch than too big by a quarter of an inch. Uh, half an inch too small, we end up with a quarter inch gap on each side and nobody will know. So just be aware of that when you're measuring. It's okay that we put it in smaller. Uh, we did, we had, we had an issue on that job. We had floor mount at, and uh, we had a baseboard change on that and they also had an opening in the floor that they changed. When you're on a job that's a remodel and they're gonna be doing stuff, if there's, you know, if they're doing work, they're gonna be changing flooring and stuff, have a conversation, please, with the, the customer that, hey, if you're gonna change any of this stuff, you need to let us know. Because it's what happened, they changed the height of the baseboard, so we had to cut out all the, the floor mount verticals and the cabinets to fit over the new baseboard because it was higher. They changed the opening in the floor, so we had to remake it. Uh, I talked to Brandy on that, and called the customer and said look hey we measured to this and you changed it and we charged them an extra $250 the downside of that is the installer did not get notified of that so he didn't collect the additional $250 in the future any change orders that you do collect 100% of the change order at the time of the change it just eliminates, it doesn't change the amount due on the blue sheet or you know the green sheet or anything like that. And it's just paid for and we don't have to go back with that. Uh, the other one, we just had a question on that. We had that whole job, everything was wall mount and then two little reach-in closets had floor mount on it. Uh, once again, I prefer wall mount for everything. The more wall mount that you can do, the better we off, uh, better off we are. You guys, I also wanted to just point out, uh, this is a wall bed that we installed yesterday and you will notice that it is not a wall to wall. Love to install beds like this. And the reason why they showed up on the install and where it was centered, we had two plugs. We had a, an electrical plug and then we had a, another cable outlet or something like that that were right in the way. And so they had to offset the bed slightly about six inches to one side and that it just made it work. It's a much, 
easier, faster, cleaner installation and works really great. Uh, this one has the 24 inch side cabinets, looks nice. Uh, I do a lot of the 18 inch ones because it gives you a pretty good clearance from the side walls and it just isn't as noticeable. You have a, you know, a wider gap instead of having uh, a six inch gap on the wall, you'll have a 12 inch gap or you know, instead of 12 inch, you'll have 18. Uh, it just looks like it's a built-in uh, built piece of furniture that fits better in the opening sometimes with the smaller cabinets. So uh, we had several closets in this house that were wall mount like you can see here. And then we had just one closet that had the floor mount. I don't know the reasoning behind this. Uh, and that, that's fine. I, I get it. Sometimes there's a, there's a good solid reason. Uh, the point that was brought up was we had baseboard changes in all of those items. And so we had to go and cut out and notch those out. Had it been wall mount, it would have matched the rest of the house and we wouldn't have had to do anything like that. Once again, we had several of these large big coat hooks uh, that weren't called out on the plan uh, on a reach-in closet and we didn't have any nailers on them. So I know that we just went over this last week. Just a reminder, if we're doing, anytime we do hooks, they need to go on a cleat. Uh, that way they're securely fastened to the wall. They're easier to install. Uh, we're not going to have any issues down the road.